हे ऑल वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड ओके सो टू बिगिन विद माई इंट्रो दिस इज़ माई चैनल विच इज़ फेयरली न्यू एज यू कैन सी एंड दिस इज़ द इंटीग्रेशन प्ले लिस्ट आई मस्ट से दैट दिस इज दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट beautifully curated integration playlist and it's continuing uh, like uh, i uh, i post uh, uh, new videos like every 2 to 3 days here and uh, you can see it contains like every topic every 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 topic you may ask for also documentation is provided for everything uh, like scripted rest apis all the methods dynamic inputs you know soap is covered catalog request submission using integration there is postman testing shown using postman different types of apis are covered aggregate attachment email api import set api transform scripts like too many things there is inbound email actions setting up so like as you can see and uh, so yeah if you haven't checked out the integration playlist you are new to integrations you must 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 check it out and if you already know integrations you still must check it out i'm sure you will learn one or two new things from each and every video and uh, this is the interview playlist which is uh, means the video is today about this one uh, so <clears throat> and it contains one of the wonderful two of the wonderful use cases i have uploaded till now and uh, you must check it out they are very frequently asked and also debatable use cases so if you haven't yet please do check it out and uh, yeah so today's video is about another one of the use cases which is again very popular and very frequently asked and i would say very useful i was asked uh, in my uh, interviews one of my interviews and i also uploaded the question in the you know linkedin if you haven't you can check out the featured post in my linkedin you can connect with me on linkedin if you haven't connected yet in the pinned comment okay there is my linkedin profile link okay and this is the third uh, one i have already shared i think first two now how can you hide new button for some users or in some states in particular related list like i have given it in a generic way these are the specific use cases uh, remove new and edit button in resolved and closed state of incident for child incidents remove new button so yeah these are what which will we be, we will be doing today so let me just explain you uh, why this use case is good and important and so let's just open uh, one of the existing incidents apart from this i feel that uh, you know um uh Uh, list control is one of the least explored uh, uh, topics in service now administration or in service now itsm or any like any uh, domain uh, it has a lot more potential than it uh, you know than we are utilizing and uh, it's underutilized kind of like it can make our performance a lot better so yeah so you can see uh, okay back to the use case so you can see this current state of the incident is in progress and we are having child incidents related list here with new and edit button which is fine because we can attach uh, new child incidents here maybe uh, some more issues are being reported with same kind of thing and it's not on a large scale only one particular team is reporting so you are just creating child incidents for it yeah so uh, it is visible now that's fine so let's just change it to resolved and uh, see okay so uh, yeah i just resolved the incident and uh, still you can see we are having child incidents uh, new and edit button which is definitely not needed why i mean the main incident is already resolved why would the child incident still have new and edit button we don't really need to add any more incidents to it so yeah we don't need this uh, new and edit button and that exactly is the use case as you can see resolved and closed the state of incident for uh, child incidents okay so we need to right click on any of the column headers uh, configure list control okay so you can um, 
okay the page is already loaded i guess no it's loading is still okay so you can see there is omit new button here and there is omit edit button here and there are more we will which i'll explain in later part of the videos uh, for now let's just focus on omit new button and omit edit button so when i check on this omit new button and this omit edit button it will completely uh, erase the omit new button means it will completely erase the new button and edit button uh, from the face of the form i mean uh, it will not be visible in, in any situation in any states which we don't want we just want a conditional omitting means uh, we only want the new and edit button to be removed when the state of the incident is uh, you know resolved or uh, closed only in those conditions so we don't need to check this okay but if you want to remove it always or if for a troubleshooting i would mention that if you are not able to see new and edit button in the related list you can just configure the list control for that particular related list or just go to list control table and check out that related list and see if omit new button is checked or what okay and if omit empty button is checked or omit um, omit if empty as you can see here omit empty button is checked omit columns is checked something would be checked so you can uncheck that that is one of the troubleshooting tips so, uh, again back to the use case so i was telling that if you check this omit new button and omit edit button uh, then it will remove it like on the form in all the conditions which we don't want we just want it conditional so that's what i'm gonna do i'll just write parent dot state equal to equal to six which i believe is the backend value for resolved and then i'll return true uh, else i'll go do false okay the same thing i'll just copy it in uh, omit edit condition which will allow us to have you know conditional um new and edit buttons yeah okay meanwhile it saves uh, let's again go to the list okay yeah so you can see that the current state of the incident is in progress and new and edit button are visible which is good now let's just change it to resolve and uh, Okay, fill the mandatory fields save it and uh, as per our configuration new and edit button in the child incidents related list should no longer be visible okay let's just see what happens yeah great so you can see that it's not visible in the resolved state just to reconfirm i am again changing it to in progress state and saving the form you will see that new and edit button is back which gives us conditional omitting and it is like wonderful as you can see like it's wonderful but if you want it like always to not be visible you can check these boxes yeah or if it's not visible always like other way around troubleshooting as i said so yeah see now it's changed to in progress so now you can see new and edit button is visible so yeah that was about this first use case about the second one now remove new button in groups re related list in user table okay so let's just go to user table okay let's open any of the records i would say somebody who is having some groups or if not we'll just add it so you can see there is both new and edit button here uh, in the groups related list which i uh, which doesn't means edit button is fine uh, because you will be adding uh, this particular user to the group which is okay let's just add him to these groups okay which is okay but the new button here i mean we don't need it means that's that's what always the also the use case says uh, i don't know new is active or what yeah uh, that's what the use case says so hmm yeah you don't need new button here because the user i mean we don't want the people to create new groups from here and then add the user so basically we don't want this new button here for 
like there's no uh, condition we just don't want it to be visible in any condition so as i already explained in my first use case since we don't want it to be visible in any condition we'll just check omit new button i'll just click on omit new button and um, yeah so you can see there is i think i mistakenly also checked on omit edit button that's why edit button is also gone from here so as you can see uh, the group is no longer having the new and edit button let's just remove this omit edit button we don't want we want the edit button to be visible okay so new button is no longer visible and it's not conditional also means it will make it invisible in all the states like i explained you in the first use case as you can see uh, yeah let's just refresh the list so uh, these uh, list calculation means uh, it's calculating the total number of uh, rows means under this condition so every time this uh, this particular form loads and this particular related list loads it has to you know do a scripting at the back end to present the count which is not really performance friendly and uh, that's what the requirement is we don't we need to remove the count of records in related list for performance improvement so we don't want to display this count okay so for this uh, again we need to do the same just right click here configure list control hmm. so uh, in the performance tab uh, you can see there is remove pagination count there is omit related list count okay yeah so mm -hmm. hmm so we did two things uh, so you can see the pagination count is removed uh, means only 1 to 4 is visible now uh, um now uh, that is it about the three use cases which i had apart from that i would say uh, that there are few other things that you must explore like there is omit filters also so if i click on omit filters this uh, means filter will not be visible you can check omit filters by saving i'll just show you these things also uh, Hmm. so you can see the filter is completely omitted here that was the use of omit filters and uh, omit links so you can see uh, what is the use of omit links so you can see these are the reference fields here and these reference fields are presented in the uh, display name of the uh, like reference links so when we click on this omit links button then uh, these Uh, will no longer be present as links rather they will be present as just simple names right okay let me just show you that yeah so you can see here now they are present as bare simple records and they are no longer present as uh, reference links okay display name of reference links there is omit columns if empty means none of the columns of the records will be visible if it is empty and you can also choose to omit this whole uh, related list if there are no records here okay okay so let 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 me get this straight like you can see there is this delegates related list okay and this is having no records right so if you click on omit columns if empty then this delegate related list will be visible but all these columns will not be visible okay and if you click on omit if empty then this whole uh, related list will not be visible since it is not having any records okay now omit empty condition like i said that if you click on omit if empty then in every situation uh, this will not this uh, this will up, this will be applicable like the related list will not be visible every time it's empty means having no records but if you want it to be conditional like omit empty condition then uh, you can put a condition here like we explored for you know new and edit buttons yeah yeah you can see here uh, hide natural language filter so it is for that uh, this disable uh, disable nlq so natural language query it is for that okay and this hierarchical list also is for that uh, so uh, that's that um, i hope i hope you learned a lot and learned something new also from this video uh, something which you didn't already know um uh, please 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 like share and subscribe i 
uh, if you found anything valuable and you can uh, either on my linkedin or on youtube yeah thank you so much bye bye